Hi, today I'm going to be making fritterolls with creme tissier because I didn't have any cream in the fridge. So for the choux pastry you're going to need flour, butter, beaten eggs, sugar and water. You add the butter and the water to your saucepan and heat until it's melted. And bring it to the boil, then sieve in your flour and your sugar. You then want to beat the flour into the water and egg mixture until it starts to come away from the sides of the saucepan and form a ball. You then want to remove it from the heat and add your eggs a little bit of a time, beating in between until it forms a smooth and glossy paste. You then want to grease and wet your baking tray and either spoon or pipe on your pastry into neat little balls. You then cook in the oven. Once they come out of the oven, you want to poke a little hole in the bottom of each profiterole to remove the steam so they don't go soggy. For your crepe tissier, you're going to need milk, a split vanilla pod, egg yolks, sugar and flour. You put the milk and vanilla pod into a saucepan and bring to the boil. Remove from the heat and leave it to cool for 10 minutes. You then add the egg yolks and sugar to a bowl and mix them together until they go light and smooth. You then sieve in your flour and mix again. Then sieve in the cooled milk, which didn't record for some reason, and mix again until it goes all smooth and there aren't any lumps. You to return that to the saucepan and heat slowly Move it to the saucepan, return to the heat and slowly heat it, stirring the entire time so you don't get lumps forming on the bottom of the saucepan. So just keep on stirring that until it thickens to about the consistency of whipped cream. I mean, you can always use whipped cream, I just didn't have any. And then you leave it to cool in, with covered in cling film so that you don't get a skin. You then The hole you poked earlier to remove the steam, you then use that to fill in your fritterolls with um, your creme tissier. The chocolate chopping, you melt chocolate and butter over hot water and then you dip in your profiteroles until they've got a nice thick chocolate topping and then you're done. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. Bye!